let's make an item to craft other items with. Let's see what that means. All right, we found ourselves in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we are going to add an item. We're going to make it so that you can craft items with another item. Now, if that seems a little confusing, it's because there's no real word for this. I try to call it sort of like craftable item, but that doesn't really capture the essence. What you might have seen is in a few mods, for example, in, I believe it's in Immersive Engineering, it was in Industrial Craft 2, and I think there's some other mods that also implement a similar thing, that way you can craft a hammer, and then you can craft with that. So you can have the hammer and you can use it, I don't know, like 80 times, for example, and craft other stuff with it. This topic comes actually suggested from ICU, and it is far easier to implement than you might think. Now, we're actually going to take the Firestone and make it into such a craftable item. The reason why we're going to do that is because, first of all, it's already done, so we don't have to make a new item for it. And number two, the great thing is that we already have this max damage here, and that's immediately going to work. So you, of course, need to set the max damage for the item. So you need to say, okay, how often can we craft with this? And then inside of the custom item class, we have to do, well, only really add two methods. So uh, let's go down at the very bottom. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we are. Uh, one thing we're going to uh, override is the has container item. So we're going to override that and simply return true. So that's that's all that we need, really need to do on this one. And the other one is a little more complicated, but it's also fairly simple. That is the get container item. Now, this will do the following. We will, first of all, make an item stack. This is going to be called the container. This is going to be the stack, the item stack that we're passing in here, dot copy. So we're going to copy the item stack. And then we're going to say, okay, if, if we can't damage the container, so container dot attempt damage item one, then we have to take in a random and then we will simply say null here because we don't actually have any damage. And then what we want to do is return the item stack. Then we want to return item stack dot empty. So basically just an empty item stack. And if that's not the case, so else we want to return the container. Literally it. That is all that we need to do. I know you might say that that can't be it. Yes. And I'm going to try to explain what is happening here. So usually a container item actually is handled. What the container item usually represents is, for example, a bucket. So, of course, there are some things that where you can use the milk bucket, for example, to craft some things, but you're still going to get the bucket back. And that is a actually what the get container item was usually for in vanilla, but we can take this and use it exactly for this. So we simply copy the item stack for a moment, and then we're going to see, okay, can we actually damage this item stack? And if we can damage the uh, item stack, then we're going to return the container. So this actually here, if we hover over this, you can see it actually returns false if the item stack can't be damaged or if all points of damage are negated. So this way we make sure that because we know that the Firestone in this case has max damage set, and we can actually damage it, then we know that this only returns true if the amount of damage is equal or bigger to the max damage. So this is why we're going to return the empty item stack here and the container here. And that's all that we really need to do. Now, of course, we still need to add a, an example for a crafting recipe. I've already prepared something here, and that's going to be the iron ore to ingots firestone. Oh, look at that. There's actually a typo in there. There you go. That's even better. So that's the iron ore to ingots firestone. We can also say from firestone. That's probably better. But idea being that we have a shapeless crafting recipe. We put iron ore and the firestone in there and we get iron ore, uh, an iron ingot from it. That's all that we really need to add for an example for a recipe. Let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft and let's see if it works. So if I now add the iron ore, you can see that, first of all, we can craft the iron ingot. And if I take it out, the firestone will take damage. As you can see, it took damage. And if I put it in and I shift click, you can also see that I can only do it eight times. And then the firestone, well, is used up. And that is determined by the max damage that we set in the mod items class. And we can just do this. And there you go. That's, that's actually how easy it is to make this type of item, right? So clearly not as complicated as one might think. But that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate your like. And I will see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.